are live with Rebecca Issa and some of our fairies. Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> and we are very excited to show you this new summer collection. So we're just gonna get started. All right, everybody, I'm Rebecca. And this is Danielle. Hi. And walking into our shot right now is Sarah. <laughs> and you guys probably know Danielle and Sarah as two of our color fairies. Um, they work with us here in social media, so when you see tweaks going out or you see beautiful nails, those are either Danielle's or Sarah's. <laughs> and Sarah's going to help us out in a minute here, um, actually painting some of the colors so you can see application. But we thought that it would be fun um, to give a little bit of a look at summer within the context of what's happening in everything else in cosmetics. Um, so you'll see a lot of your favorite brands here. You'll see things that you are familiar with, maybe some things you're not as familiar with, but we'll kind of give you, you know, the story of color also in terms of shadows and lipsticks and the looks that we see. Um, because we do go to the Fashion Week twice a year and we see what's on the runway and a lot of that informs when I'm creating color what you see come out in the collections and we just thought it would be fun to kind of pair that up for everybody especially because so many of our fantastic nail bloggers are going to be doing really in detail swatching and we cannot compete with the shots they do. I mean, they're macro shots and, and everything that our bloggers do are so fantastic. So we're kind of, you know, let them have that because that is something that they really excel at. This is a little bit more fun. Okay guys, so what we're looking at for summer, I don't know if somebody can maybe get a really tight shot of these. Two gorgeous, gorgeous collections. And the two collections are Island Fun and Paradise Sun. And can you tell how long winter has been in Cleveland <laughs> this year? It has been eternal. Um, and I think all of us really were feeling it when it came time to name the colors and, and put a feel behind everything. We all felt it. We wanted vacation. We wanted the islands. Um, the Island Fun Collection, as you'll see, are really dense full coverage creams. We, yes, we have a turquoise and we have a teal and I did hear that on Twitter and on Facebook and on all of the little comments that you guys make. So now we have a really great turquoise and teal, summer red, gorgeous magenta, beautiful purple, and another one of our really popular kind of um, muddy green tones. So we now have a palette of those muddy greens and they look really great when you see them all together. Now, the complimenting, yeah, aren't they pretty, sir? <laughs> the complimenting tones for those silk covered creams are what we like to call a liquid glass black summer collection. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Including a white. <laughs> and that white, guys, is a full coverage. And that's the Paradise Sun collection. And you can see. Um, just as I'm moving the bottle, you can see the reflection, but Sarah's going to be actually painting the white and the red in this grouping so that you can see it live and in person in terms of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't we do a little bit of that painting now, and as Sarah is painting, I can also be talking about color and what we see happening. Sarah, do you have a favorite you'd like to start with? Well, I'm going to start with the, the red. Okay, awesome. <laughs> and this one is Aphrodite. So Danielle, honey, if you want, go ahead and keep the camera on Sarah's hand. Okay. And I'm just going to talk about some of the trends that we see in cosmetics as Sarah's painting, and then we'll cut away to some of those after people get a really good look. Yeah, the first swatch. Uh, first <laughs> swatch. Look at this gorgeous Aphrodite shade. That and liquid glass. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone just, you know, bear in mind, you know, look at that. And that's just one coat. So you can see with one coat, and you know, most of the time your liquid black fleck, glass flecks, um, one coat is much sheer, but this gives a lot of density for one coat. And then the next one is, um, which, which one is this? <laughs> Genesis. <laughs> which is an awesome full coverage opaque white. Love Genesis, I'm gonna be wearing that on my hands and feet quite a bit this summer. <laughs> and that was actually one of the looks that we saw um, was that high contrast 
where you saw either the white on the eye or the black on the eye. And so Genesis is kind of a nail interpretation of that look. With the reds, we saw red everywhere. We saw red on the lips, and we also saw a red bold, bold graphic on the eye. So Aphrodite fits right in with that trend. Gorgeous, gorgeous gem, glistening purple. Absolutely beautiful, deep, rich. So yeah. yeah. It's for those who really like to wear a little bit stronger, darker tone. That would be gorgeous on women of color. Anyone with deeper skin tones, it is going to be phenomenal. everyone who's excited about the turquoise. Living in turquoise, it's awesome. Really good coverage. And like we said, these are just rough swatches, so you're not necessarily going yeah, to have yeah. um, perfection here, but this mm -hmm. is just so you can get an idea as to application. Now, the bold eye that we're seeing, if anybody is looking for a great option in terms of shadows, I want to highlight this one in particular. This has every bold tone you could want for your eye. It's actually an Urban Decay um, palette that came out a year ago. It's called Electric, but I love it. And it's one of those palettes when I saw it, even though I have only used it personally a few times, I have so many girlfriends that I have done, you know, party makeup for and we work with this palette and it fits in if you look at the graphics that you see happening on the runway with the bold eye this fits in perfectly now I will give you guys just a word of advice if you take a look at this silver the way it's pigmented is unbelievable although I do find because of the little bit of fallout you get with it it applies extremely well with fingertips so fingertip application works really well with that now, if you're going into other tones that are a little bit um, unusual, like an orange or some of the hot fuchsias on your eye, what you can always try is something I like to do, which is pull a blush. These three colors are all from Makeup Forever and they are blushes, but they work beautifully on the eye because they're pigmented enough. Makeup Forever has great pigmentation in their color and you can see how perfectly it works back with all the tones we have happening in our collection. So these, all three of these work well if you wanted to do that. Now remember, when you're doing a bolder graphic eye, always work either an eyeshadow base or a concealer first. Bobbi Brown has these really great little concealer compacts that have a concealer and powder. That's handy. They have their sticks. Makeup Forever has the combo concealer plate so you can color correct as well. If you don't feel like doing the bold eye, do a strong matte. I just pulled a palette of different tones of reds and plums. Reds and plums seem to be the go-to if it wasn't going to be a nude. So if you're doing the brighter eye, you can see it's a softer, more nude look. If you're doing the other look that really was all over the runway, then you're looking at a stronger matte. And we have a whole range of tones there. So Sarah, I'm curious, did anybody send in any questions? Um, not yet. If, okay. if anybody has any questions, yeah, we'll if you guys try have any questions, you can send them in or mm -hmm. you can tweet them later. And, you know, we're happy to respond, you know, either over Twitter or we can do another Periscope, mm -hmm. whatever works. So this is what we're looking at in terms of summer color, guys. All right. We have a couple people who, one, one person wants to know how you're doing today. Oh, <laughs> you really want to know? I will tell you how I'm doing. I have allergies, seasonal allergies, and I am so medicated. You know, it's not even funny. But I think everyone's suffering from allergies this season. Okay. It's just miserable, especially yeah. here in Northeastern uh -huh. Ohio. Yeah, we have a couple more. Um, somebody wants to know what your favorite eyeliner is, and they also want to know if these are full coverage. Yes, these are full coverage um, to the nail polish first. These are full coverage. I will tell you right now, and I, I move around a lot with my eyeliners, but I found these highlighters. They're Clinique of all things. Um, but these, this is not your mother's Clinique. Look at the payoff on that black. They're the automatic, so they roll up so you don't have to worry about a sharpener. 
and look at this. They're called intense quick liners, and they're different from their traditional quick liners. Look at this purple. Mm, they it. have electric blue, they have neon green, they have a full palette of color, but I mean, these are so dense, the pigmentation is just unbelievable. So yeah. right this minute, these are my, my favorite, right this minute. In terms of um, a fine liner, if I'm doing a fine liner, then Urban Decay is my go-to, my mm -hmm. ink for eyes. Ink for eyes, Urban Decay. Someone wants to know if those smudge fast. Yeah, they do. They really smudge beautifully. Um, you can smudge them. Oh, I'll give you, but just so that you know, one important tip with these is they, they have a funky dry down in that they dry down in about 15 seconds. Okay. So when you apply them, you have to smudge them immediately. If you don't smudge them right away, they kind of set, which I think is great. Then it doesn't yeah. smudge during the Exactly, because then it doesn't move around. You can smudge them, but only for about 15 seconds after you apply them. Um, and then just to answer another question, um, the all of the shades are full coverage. Yes. Um, and there you can get away with one coat, but if you feel like you I need yeah, coats, I'm not a big fan like, of one yeah. coat. I always like two coats just it's because, because I feel like it it finishes the look. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, if you absolutely have to do one coat, then you know by all means do. But if you've got the time, at least do two. Um, another person wanted to know what your personal favorite is from the collection, if you could pick one. <laughs> okay, it keeps floating around. Um, initially, my personal favorite was Issa because it's a purple and I absolutely adore purples. And then I floated to Aphrodite because the red was just killing me. But right this moment, and probably for the next month or so, it's going to be the white. It's mm -hmm. going to be Genesis. And you know, a part of the reason that I love this one so much is it looks like marshmallow mm -hmm. with like sprinkles in yeah. it and I have a tendency to think of cosmetics in terms of food probably because I'm always on a diet so I don't get to eat all that stuff you know so it's like marshmallow whip with wonderful like sprinkles in it that's what this reminds me of so I think this is going to be my initial go-to color for summer um somebody want to know if that's good for tips yeah, you can use it for tips, and it's actually because it has that nice little, um, it's a holographic micropigment, so it'll give you that little um, great reflective quality, but you have to remember, you really have to do a top coat over it, okay? So, you know, tip it, great, and then make sure you top coat it. Um, and then just to answer a few other questions, the um, collection is actually available for pre-order online right now. So if you go to Zoya.com, um, it's only it's U.S. and Canada only for right now. So sorry um, for the viewer who's tuning in from the Netherlands. Oh, um, hello! <laughs> we wish we were there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you can always contact our customer service team, and they can direct you to the distributor in your area. So you can find that. But um, Again, the colors are available on Zoya.com for pre-order. They will be shipping May 5th. It so that's exciting. Out. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then also, at, after um, we get done with the broadcast, we will um, we'll be posting a YouTube video also, and then we will put everything in a recap on our blog, which and is blog.zoya.com. Something Sarah made, which we will post as well, are comparison cards that show how the colors compare to existing shades in terms of finish and tone. This will all be on, on the blog as well, right? Yeah, it's on the, it should be in the blog um, within the next hour um, so you guys can see how they compare, but there's really nothing. Um, we don't yeah. have any dupes, <laughs> yeah. partially because the liquid glass fleck is just very unique in terms of how it looks. Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't have a huge palette of that particular finish. Um, already so it was nice to add to that with these additional six shades and I know a lot of people have been requesting expansion on that particular formula so I was happy to apply yeah <laughs> um, and just for the person who just sent in a message uh, our YouTube channel is if you just search Soya at Soya nail polish then that's where it will be located <laughs> well guys I'm gonna sign off now because I know people don't have time to sit on Periscope all day but I want Sarah and Dina to come back
and say bye to everyone as the camera wobbles while we hand yeah. off. Okay. All right, guys. Bye. We want to say bye. Have an awesome summer. And don't forget to tweet us at Zoe Nail Polish with any of your questions, and we will um, either tweet you back or we'll jump on another broadcast to answer everyone's questions. And hopefully we'll be doing more of these in the future. If you yeah. guys like them, let yeah. us know. Let us know. <laughs> All right. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye. Press up. <laughs> Right down. Yeah. <laughs> okay.